We knew it wasn't about football when uh, Adam Goods became an ambassador for David Jones. And unfortunately, the racism continued. I won't go into the comments because I don't even want to say them out loud, but if you want to Google them, you can see how horrible they were. And that day, I felt impotent. I was like, what can I do in the face of this? He's a great Australian, Australian of the Year, and people are... Tw so I thought I'd tweet this. This was my joke. I was like, dear David Jones... Sorry, that's how I tweet. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have a massive keyboard. And it's like that piano from Big. I have to... Anyway. <laughs> it's like, dear David Jones, I am outraged by your choice of Adam Goods as ambassador. From now on, I will only buy my white sheets at Maya <laughs> or KKK Mart. <laughs> now, you and most of the people on the internet got that joke. But there is one woman who did not. And she came back at me, like all capital letters, like literally she was using my old stolen phone. <laughs> She's like, you're a racist. Oh, wrong you're, by the way, of course. But <laughs> did not feel like it was the time to bring it up. So I was like, here's the thing. She's just misread the tweet. We're actually on the same side. We're both against racism. So I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I say, I think if you just reread it, you'll understand that we're on the same side of this. I don't know if she did reread it, but she certainly did not think we were on the same side. And she came back at me even stronger. She was going, you're a racist. I will never watch anything. You do again! <laughs> exclamation, 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 exclamation. There were so many exclamation points. It was like she'd been saving them up since Smash Hits magazine went out of business. <laughs> and now they all had to go. She went to a separate tweet just to put more exclamations. <laughs> and then I assume she was done, but she was not done. Because she had one final kicker. She wrote back. Oh, and by the way, at least Adam Goods can kick a football because he has two legs. Hang on, did you just accuse me of being a racist and then think I was Adam Hills? <laughs> uh, I went to the first ever Reclaim Australia rally uh, by accident. Uh, <laughs> I was here in Melbourne, it was during the Melbourne International Comedy Festival and I went for a walk during the day. Uh, I was going to uh, have a lie down in the uh, Botanic Gardens and I was walking uh, across Flinders Street and I was cut off uh, by rows of protesters uh, from uh, Reclaim Australia and they mostly were guys on motorbikes with Australian flags over their faces and they were mad when I got there about halal food. Like, so you had all these angry people with bikes and flags just being like, halal! Hello! <laughs> it was like a really angry Adele metal band, basically. <laughs> Hello, let's meet. Uh, <laughs> I can't sing anymore. We can't afford the rights. But I, uh, <laughs> Adele's lawyer. Hello? Oh fuck! Don't do that. I. They were so mad about halal food because they were like, halal funds terrorism. But they're all riding motorbikes, which are apparently fueled by irony. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, the joke is there that petrol funds terrorism. But I, uh, <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry to break it to you, but the Grand Prix is an ISIS fundraiser, basically. <laughs> but... Uh, I followed the Reclaim Australia uh, Facebook group and last year they tried to boycott Jacob's Creek wine. They were like, Jacob's Creek wine is halal, boycott, it's halal. And I was like, I don't reckon it would be. Because, you know, it's wine. <laughs> Do you reckon this bacon sandwich is halal? No, probably not. I reckon you don't know what halal is, though. 
Like halal basically just means pr food prepared in a way that Muslims can eat, right? So it doesn't have pork products, it doesn't have uh, alcohol in it, and it means that when animals are slaughtered, they slit their throat. I'm a vegetarian, so I don't like any of this, but they slit their throat, and uh, they say bas basmalah, uh, which means uh, in, in the name of God. And that got people mad, because they were like, oh, they say in the name of God, that means it's a religious ceremony. Does it? Is that how it works? Because when someone sneezes, I say, bless you. <laughs> Hang on, am I God? When someone screams out, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, in my bedroom. <laughs> Does that make that a church? Because <laughs> if so, I'm not paying my taxes. <laughs> and when I say someone, I mean me alone, but I kept the receipts, so. <laughs> that counts. Some people got mad because our troops were gonna be served third halal food. They're like, oh, how can they be fighting Muslims and eating Muslim food at the same? It doesn't turn you, like, what do you think it? <laughs> do you really think our crack SAS troops, mid-afternoon, mid-battle, are just gonna look at each other like, hey, um, hey, Brian. <laughs> are, you feeling, are you feeling a bit Muslim-y? <laughs> Just since lunch, I've been feeling <laughs> just a bit Muslim-y since lunch, have you been? It doesn't turn you in. Like, just because you drink a Diet Coke does not mean that you are on a diet, right? <laughs> just because you eat paleo food does not necessarily mean that you are a cockhead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But that's what they seem to think. Oh no, I had some kosher food before skin dropped off. Uh, I think it's important to listen to people you don't agree with. And uh, so I stopped at this Reclaim Australia rally and it was the best 60 seconds of my entire life because the speaker had just got up to speak and the first thing that I loved about his presentation style that was particularly bold was he refused to take off his Australia Cape mask to make his speech. So he's speaking through the flag. That's how Aussie he is. He's speaking through the Australian flag into the microphone and this without a word of a lie is what he says. He goes, we've got to ban the burqa. You can't see what people's faces look like. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, that could not be a real guy. That Check his face. It's one of the guys from The Chaser. Check. <laughs> that alone would have been worth stopping for, but oh no, he was on a roll. He was on a roll. He pointed from Flinders Street down to Burke Street and he goes, I was in the Burke Street Mall the other day and all I saw were burkas. Now already this sentence is only half over and it's so poetic, like I love it. I was in the Burke Street Mall and all I saw were burkas but we haven't even got to the best bit. Cause then he just points around and he's like, burka, burka, burka. <laughs> like, oh my God, it's a Swedish chef from the Muppets. And if he'd finished there, that still would have been fine. I would have been happy with that, but he was not done. He pointed to the McDonald's across the road and he goes, I was in that McDonald's the other night and it was un-Australian. Now, firstly, brilliant place to make your last stand for what it means to be Aussie. <laughs> McDonald's, if we lose the McCafe, then we've lost the country, mate. <laughs> he goes, I was in that McDonald's the other day and four of the people serving were wearing burkas and all I could think was, oh my God, the burkas are better at Hungry Jacks. <laughs> you guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much. <laughs>